aquarium have been full of sunken plastic pirate ships and a dodgy pagoda. But one man has made it his mission to turn fish tanks into art. Please welcome George Farmer. Ah, Mr. Farmer, positioned behind your work of art, what is it that you do with aquariums that is actually so different from other people, if you like? Um, the typical home aquarium used to be full of sunken treasures, galleons, divers with bubbles coming out, you know, quite tacky. What, what we try to do is replicate a slice of nature in the aquarium. We've got a bit of a tree here, you've got natural gravels at the front, um, and it, you're basically trying to get this essence of nature, but capture it in your, in your own living space. It's beautiful. Now, what do you think um, of this? You have fish. We do have fish. Uh, we went on holiday and allowed the neighbours to uh, feed the fish, and uh, one of the neighbour's children was given the job one day, and the whole pot went in, yeah. and soon they were all floating to the top. You see, it really is quite a specialised uh, procedure, isn't it? Yeah, um, but with the right research, um, and there's more and more equipment out there now, which helps people out, Yeah. Um, it's relatively easy to get into. It looks very high-tech. These are nice glass tubes and things. These are called lily pipes. They're attached to an external filter, so you've got the filters in this cabinet here, rather than a big ugly filter inside the tank. And the advantage of glass over, like, say, a, a black plastic pipe is that you don't notice these. So your eyes are drawn to the, the aquascape, the fish, the wood, the rocks, and the plants. You know, that's what you want to be seeing. You don't want to be seeing the ugly equipment. I think also what's different about your aquariums are that they haven't got the lid on. I've got a hood, Because no. straight away it feels more pondy. It feels, it feels nicer rather yeah. than a block of objects that's with right. something nice yeah, that's in it. Yeah, so if you're, you're standing up and you can, you can see a, a completely new dimension mm. to the aquascape. Um, and you can have wood protruding from the top, you can attach mosses and things yeah. which actually start growing out of the water. Yeah. And you can grow emergent plants as well, which some flower out of the water as well. So it, it brings a whole new aspect to, to the aquascape. Then again, if you're going to commit to something like this, it's not cheap, is it? Something like this, this entire setup would probably cost about a thousand pounds. You could do a similar for two or three hundred. I think this is absolutely beautiful. I can't imagine anything sort of more peaceful sitting with the lights on and just having a little look at no, these guys. Is this enjoyable for you at this end of the audience? It's really cool. It's a different isn't it? vibe, isn't it? It's not like the regular fish tanks you see. Very relaxing, I think. I think it's a wonderful thing that you do because this isn't even your full time job, is it? No, it's not, no. Care to share? Mm -hmm. I'm in the, in the Royal Air Force. He's only in the RAF. Yeah. I think it's fantastic. Yes, thank you so much, George. But I believe you're going to enter us into a little fish game over here. That's right, yeah. Come on, let's go over.